Well, the number of nuisance alligator complaints increased throughout Florida after a two-year-old was killed at Disney. Yesterday, a distraught woman told us she wants all alligators removed from a city park after one of them killed her dog. And now biologists are coming to the defense of these alligators. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us now live from Tampa with this great gator debate. Jeff. Hey, good evening, Josh. We are at Al Lopez Park, and although I don't see any alligators out here right now, you can count on the fact there are alligators here because this is Florida. But a professional nature naturalist told me today it's important for these alligators to remain here. Here, and this is where that gator lies, right here. Sue Fortenberry is understandably upset after she watched an alligator kill her beloved dog. I'll never bring my dogs back here again. It's just way too dangerous. Fortenberry wants the city of St. Petersburg to do something. I'd really like to see him take the gators out. They don't need to be in the middle of this city. Without alligators, uh, we'd be in a world of trouble. Damon Shepard is a professional naturalist with years of experience as an education coordinator with Lowry Park Zoo and now his own company. I know a lot of people are afraid of alligators, especially with all the things that are happening in the news right now. But Shepard maintains alligators are Florida's last remaining top predator. We have to have the predators. I mean, without things like alligators, we'd be overrun with possum and raccoon and rat and rabbits and, and all of these small furry animals that are the staple diet of the alligator. Sue Fortenberry believes the alligator that killed her dog is now a danger to others. The gator must be watching for rabbits, but now he wants dogs. But Shepard told me an alligator's brain can't tell the difference. To an alligator, a dog, looks to them nothing more like a funny looking raccoon i mean to them it looks like part of the menu and so it, it becomes our responsibility to keep control of our pets and to keep them away from danger yeah just to be very clear about this damon shepherd does feel very very bad for this woman who lost her dog he empathizes with her but he says that this is a reminder for all of us to be careful around bodies of water because this is the alligator's home, Josh. And that uh, brings up the question, any chance that they would remove this alligator? It would be difficult to find, but remove that alligator that killed the dog? Well, you know, I called the FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, today to ask them about this. They told me they could not give me an on-camera interview because they've received too many requests since the Disney incident and they can't accommodate all of the requests for on-camera interviews. I asked them how many requests to be received about this. They told me they'd get back to me on that, Josh. Okay, we'll stay on top of this one. Jeff Patterson, live for us in Tampa. Thanks so much, Jeff.